Look at the mountain. The hospital staff are capturing the cheers of the caregivers lining the hallway. For some reason, just 17 I days cannot. after he was admitted to the hospital, Oops. he climbed the front steps of his home in Houston with a lot of help from the handwriting. So, how much credit does the convalescent plasma deserve for that victorious homecoming? Ooh, we're going to this is the sixty-four thousand dollar question. Dr. Andreas Klein oversees the convalescent plasma program at Tufts Medical Center. And he says at this point, just don't know. He says the plasma does seem to be safe, and plenty of doctors on the front lines have wow. stories about patients like Dr. Athenides who get convalescent plasma not the and beach, then get better. That's for sure. But they're not simple stories <laughs> because these are very sick patients getting it's multiple treatments. Beach. It's a full court press, all hands on deck, and we're doing many, many things at once uh, to help individual patients. And so it's hard to tease apart what, you know, what, what the contribution of, of one and the universes and other is. He says only a rigorous clinical trial of convalescent plasma can do that. One such study is now getting underway at Boston hospitals. Dr. Klein expects COVID-19 convalescent plasma wow. treatment to evolve rapidly. Right now, one donation to the American Red Cross or a state blood bank helps one or two or three patients. Soon, he expects pooled plasma from multiple donors, a more concentrated and possibly more potent product that's treated more like a typical drug. Yeah. That's going to probably happen as we go into the summer. So there'll be even more opportunities for people to donate plasma mm. sort of as we go on. 